right so this is a first um, when you first walk in this is an entryway I like that it has its own little like separate area from the investor studio so you, when you walk in it's not like it's everything's in your face it's kind of like a more of a mystery of what's going on so let me walk turn around so this is what you see when you first come in um so i have a little message bulletin board so i kind of post i want to my goals kind of hang like little things that's going on in the area business cards events that kind of relates to someone that my clients can look at and see so that's the first um this is an entryway um and then here i have my um so what i think of a uh, client's garment i have the garment bag here i do have my custom garment bag from the name um my brand's logo um next to it but so i have it hanging here um below it i have my little mini fridge um which i have um just water for the most part um i do have some rosé some bottle little mini bottles of wine but i can always offer glass water i need to drink and this is the my uh style rack i guess you can say it's a piece that i've created some most some things actually most of it now it has stuff that i made for myself um but there are some pieces that i use for, like fashion shows um that i um that styles can pull from for the uh for fashion shoots as well so i have that on my star rack um what you will see a lot of time a lot within my studio is rose gold because my brand colors has rose gold in it but i do have these hangers they are all are hung on rose gold hangers And this is my fabric sash. Um, so I don't think it's that too, it's too bad compared to some people, honestly. Um, so I do buy a lot of for more purpose when making um, a client's um, garments. So I don't really buy too much extra, but every now and then I do. When I see them, I think it's very unique or cute or special. Um, so I pretty much pull my fabric stash from here. Um, so I kind of have a little bit categorized. I'm trying to keep all my knits together. Um, I have all of my linings here, um, like my sequin and embellished fabrics. I'm um, trying to keep it all in the same family. Um, below that, I have my pattern. So I do self-draft a lot of my patterns, um, but I do also print out PDF patterns as well. So all of those are categorized into these little cardboard um, book uh, cases or shelves that I got from Ikea. So I have little manila envelopes. I named the um, pattern piece and I put them all inside here. And that's for every type of category that I use. Um, that's for both my self-made um, patterns and my PDF patterns. Put them all both together. Um, the commercial patterns I have some stored here and in this um, bin as well for all of my PDF patterns. And then I do have some custom patterns I do for clients. I keep them in here for reference in case I want to make that style of dress again. Or they come back and they want it, um, I can always go back to reference it. Um, on top of my bookshelf, um, this singer was actually gifted to me by the realtor who found me this space. So um, it is working. I just haven't worked with it yet. Um, I'm going to pull it out and kind of tinker with it, see how it operates. Um, but it is a working uh, vintage singer sewing machine. And this little uh, art piece, I guess you can call it, I made it myself um, at this event at the Philadelphia Art Museum. Um, so that is my original piece. I thought it would look nice on top of my shelf here. That is the first half of the space coming in from the um, entryway. And here is my desk. So I got a custom, it's not a full deal, so she got from Ross. So on my desk, you know, I have my calendar, um, my iPad, here my touch touches of rose gold again. I have some pens and scissors. Um, these are my swatch books. So I have my swatches for clients to pull out and see. So those are all stored here. I got this cute little um, book in from TJ, um, Home Goods. So I think it's a really cute, um, the same touch of gold. Um, I have like the ball with the chairs as well. 
And these are where I store all my garment bags. So I have all my garment on them. I can put them out for every garment that I need to um, put out. filters through to the iron so when you steam it you don't have to worry about it shutting off when you use a lot of water so you don't have to worry about refilling it every time to get good steam also it's very heavy so you get a nice good press while you're steaming your pieces and i have my muslin here my ring light this is my little bookshelf um so i like to i like buying books for reference you never know when you need to reference something maybe a technique you need to find figure out so I always buy books that I think would be helpful and I do share those on my um, post as well. Um, I have my little sewing nook to do all my uh, trims and notions that I need to sew with. And I have my threads, I have all my cutting tools, my rulers, um, my zippers, I have bowling in here, horse hair braid, all types of stuff. So it's very, so much different things. I have sewing equipment, sewing tools, and my snacks. fabric um, in here the bigger like loftier materials that can't fit in the um, cubbies I have it stored under here um, this is my cutting table I have a soft filling mat over it so it makes using my rolling blades a lot easier to cut um, with and these are my machines um, this is my juki machine my industrial machine I also have my serger um, and underneath it I have my regular home machine um, my baby lock which I bought many years ago but I still love to this day to use and that way when I'm sewing, I need to use my industrial, I mean my home machine. I can just turn my chair around, plug it up, and work through my same space. I don't have to move around at all. And this is kind of my little inspiration board. Um, I have kept it the same over the years. Even the same materials for the most part on here. I haven't really changed any off of it. And then I have more of my rulers, my drop rulers, like my L-shaped ruler, my French ruler, French curve, French curve, all that. And this is my working rack. So with the rack, I like to, um, whenever I'm working on a garment and I'm finished yet, I put it on this rack. Um, that way I can reference it. Um, another little tidbit um, that I found out is that the Dollar Tree has these little um, hanging uh, plastic bag. Which I found useful when you're like, in the middle of something, you want to use all your pieces with it. Because I have all these power pieces I need to put this clean out. Or you know the project, I have the garment here, but I also have the rest of the power pieces in the bag. So kind of keep everything together. It's a nice organized way to organize your pieces. Um, so yeah, everything here is pretty much in progress where I've been working on it and I stopped. Um, so I have to go back and finish it. These are all my working in progress um, in progress racks. So if I'm working on something that you fit something, it'll be all hung in here. This is my other dress form.
nothing is going to make it.